Good morning, everyone. It is your week ahead tarot readings. It's the 4th of September. How do we get into September? Um, I apologize, I'm doing it from my bedroom. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's go in for Aries. What is your week ahead, Aries? It's the Hierophant. Don't rock the boat this week, uh, Aries. La, 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 la. Try and keep things as calm, as steady, and whatever normal is as possible. This card indicates that you don't want to change anything. There could be some um, order that's coming in for you. There could be some learning, some teaching, some spiritual advice and guidance that's coming for you, or where you're going to be part of a group, part of an organisation. So as you're coming into the beginning of September, Aries, this is like the school is back on track there. Don't rock the boat. Definitely don't try anything too new this, uh, this week. Just keep things going exactly as you are okay Taurus let's have a look for the week ahead new beginnings are coming up for you Taurus and I have a new tarot course that's starting interesting new opportunities are coming up for you this card indicates take an opportunity go with it adventure whole new beginning there's a whole new chapter that awaits for you how exciting Gemini, you're leaving things behind that no longer serve you. You're walking away from perhaps things that you thought you wanted back in the day, but now you realise they just don't matter to you. So you're walking away. But this is things that have been on your mind for a little while. This isn't going to be a shock to you. This is things that you've been thinking about for a while. And now it's time to actually turn your back and go on in pastures new. Cancer, there could be a bonus coming out for you this week, Cancer, a bit of a share out of money. Perhaps you're in a good position to be able to help those less fortunate than you. There may be some voluntary or charity connections coming here, but money is coming in and it is going out in a fair, balanced manner. Debt could be paying be, blah, 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 be being paid this week. What's going on with me? Being paid this week, Cancer, as well. Leos, it's time to put yourself first. This card, I'm laughing because normally Leo's do a little bit. This card indicates that nurture your soul now. Nurture your soul. You might find that you're going within a little bit. You might find that you need to perhaps keep your emotions in um, in control and maybe keep a lid on things this week. Maybe don't be so loud and expressive as much. Maybe you need to keep things a little bit calm and collected. This card, um, Leo, indicates that your super psychic senses are heightened, but you do need to keep a lid on those emotions just for the, a moment there. Nurture yourself. Do things that are going to make you feel good on the inside. Lee Virgo, all is not as it seems, Virgo, the moon. There could be extra sensitivity. We've had that lovely full moon in Pisces this week. You might find that you've got extra sensitivity, that your dreams are heightened, or that things just aren't quite clear around you. So trust your intuition and maybe just to put your toe in the water before you fathom things out a little bit there. You might find you're not sure who to trust or which way to go with things. So this is where your, your intuition is going to be super important. Things aren't quite clear at the moment, Virgos. Libra. The Empress is an abundant week for you, Libra. Also around family, so there could be some good news coming around family or where there's a need for you to spend time with family. This card is all about nurturing, abundance, growth, feeling comfortable. It's one of the best cards there. Anything to do with mum or daughter energy could be super important around you, Libra, as well. It's ruled by Venus, which rules your planet, so there's a feeling of comfortableness. There's a feeling of enjoying luxury around you as well, treating yourself, pampering yourself, Libra. Cat, no, Scorpio, Virgo, I've just had this for something else. Things are moving forward for you, Scorpio, this week. It's one step at a time, but it's still moving forward. There is more commitment on the way and opportunities are starting to level up for you, Scorpio. Take those opportunities. Try not to run before you can walk, but know that things are moving forward in a lovely, slow, steady place. There is more commitment coming around you. Good job opportunities. Sagittarius. Try not to worry. There could be lots of things on your mind, Sagis. Things could be overthinking. You might be over stressing about things. This card usually comes up for me when it says a worry is unnecessary. So try and calm your mind, Sagis. Capricorns. Good news, Capricorn, particularly with younger people. There may be education or training or learning that comes up for you this week, Capricorn. Grab it. New opportunities, exciting opportunities and time to move up the ladder coming in for you. But good news is coming, Capricorn, with expanding. Aquarius, a little bit of a battle going on for you Aquarians. This is a time to take a seat back and not get into any drama drama. You might find that other people's opinions get in the way, but that's all they are. It's just opinions, not necessarily right or wrong. Follow the beat of your own drum. And Pisces, it's time to roll up those sleeves and work hard if you want to get results. No point moaning if you're not going to do anything about it. Prioritise things this week, put in a little bit of extra hard work and you will get the results that you need.